the destruction and the trade in Cypriot antiquities became large-scale and organized. The Turkish army and the occupying regime tolerated and in many cases assisted pillage for the purpose of financial gain. Many finds by archaeological expeditions, exhibits in museums and antiquities from private collections were illegally exported and flooded Europe. The archaeological sites that have escaped pillage have been left to the mercy of nature and the ravages of time, neglected, untended. Whatever managed to escape the clutches of illicit dealers and vandals has been left to decay. The legal owners are powerless to react because they are up against an occupying power that not only shows scant respect for the archaeological monuments, but also tries to reap financial gain by selling them. Stolen Cypriot antiquities flood foreign markets. The civilization of Cyprus is literally going under the hammer. Much of the mania of the occupying forces was directed against the churches, which were stripped of their treasures. Portable icons, liturgical vessels, vestments, and gospels took the road to the auction rooms of Europe. Many churches, after being stripped, were turned into barracks, stables, toilets, or recreation centers. Others have been destroyed or turned into mosques. The Turkish Cypriot press gave extensive coverage to this vandalism. The small church of Ayos Efemianos was built in about the 13th century and is a few kilometers outside the occupied village of Lisi. It is single-aisled, cruciform with a dome, and its interior was decorated with exceptional wall paintings of the 13th century. After the invasion, the Turkish dealer Aydin Dikman stripped away the wall paintings and sold them to a family of Americans in Houston, Texas. Aydin Dikman was one of the main international dealers. He operated with the connivance of the Turkish Cypriot administration and Turkish forces. With the help of a ring of accomplices, whom he had trained at universities abroad, he removed unique wall paintings from the walls of other churches and monasteries and sold them to dealers abroad. While removing the wall paintings, a number were destroyed. The illicit trade in antiquities and the destruction of archaeological sites due to indifference have altered the cultural character of the occupied area. The cultural heritage of Cyprus is part of the world heritage. A great part of this heritage has been lost forever. <laughs>